Hello everybody, this is a channeled message for you today. Let's see what comes out. Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. The seed has already been planted. And you're thinking that you're just going to see a flower. You actually have a force that is getting ready to burst and blossom. And you have to understand that you're extraordinary, remarkable, and one of a kind. You have to understand and know that everything that you desire, the universe has already created it for you. You just have to actually put in the work and you'll start seeing it. And for some of you, the time is actually coming. Some of you, you just need to get out of your own way. You have to understand that your mind, the thoughts that you, you create with your mind, you're actually already attracting that right now. Some of you have actually already woken up from the matrix. Some of you actually already know the truth. Some of you are afraid of yourself and you doubt yourself. You doubt what you're capable of doing. You doubt starting a project. You doubt. You doubt the universe itself because you feel like you're crazy. And you feel like, no, that, that can't be possible. It's not possible for me to achieve that or to actually have that. You're wrong. It is possible for you to have it. And you're going to have it. What you're doing, you have to understand, you're not for everybody. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Face what you're doing and understand that, again, you are one of a kind. There is no one like you. Tell yourself, I am enough. And I got this. I can do this. You, you might have been picked on when you were in school and you might have been different from everybody else. All the way throughout school. And you, you, you know, you, you could be going through things where you're trying to figure out who am I or you, you might need to heal or you might have already healed. And you have to understand that the journey that you're on, you're kind of trying to test things out. But at the same time, you're like, should I be doing this or not? Yes, you should be doing it. You should be doing what you desire most. Do what you desire most. Trust yourself. Water your garden. Nourish. Body care. Tenderness. Rest. Everything is going to be okay. Again. That forest. It's about the First, you have no idea the beauty that lies ahead. You, you don't know. You, you don't get it. You're, you're over here thinking in the 3D, and you don't even know what's waiting for you in the 5D. You don't even understand that the creator of the universe has already blessed you with so many blessings. But also, at the same time, you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your temple. You have to take care of your body. You have to take care of your mind. If you're not healed, this will be the time to heal yourself. Focus on you and what you want to create and what you want to accomplish. But also, at the same time, it's time for you to rest and relax. It's okay to take a break here and there. Get back to it. Pull over at the gas station. Get off the freeway. Put some gas in. Take a five-minute break. 
get back on the highway, get back on the freeway, and keep pushing forward. But nourish yourself. Make sure, for some of you, you put so much into everybody else, but you don't put enough into yourself. It's time for you to start investing and put in to your own self. And I promise you, you you you're you're gonna see a change. Some of you actually are gonna see that change quicker than others because you're already putting in the work. Some of you don't even understand that all you gotta do is take one step and you'll be there. Some of you feel like you can't do it. Stop doubting yourself. Let's get another card. A win win outcome is forecast full moon and Libra this is a win-win situation you already have it you already won you already hit the hit the universal lottery you just have to believe and know hey I'm not gonna let what people did in my childhood or The wounds of my mother or my father um, neglecting me or abusing me or my sister or whoever or my cousins, my aunts, my aunts or uh, what my best friend did to me five years ago. I'm not going to let that stop me from who I am supposed to become right now. And the reason why you don't let that stop you is because... If you keep moving forward, no matter if you have to crawl, walk, or run, you can crawl if you have to before you do anything else. If you cannot run, you walk. If you can't walk, you crawl. But as long as you're taking a step in the right direction, what you desire and what you want to achieve It will happen. If you feel like you're going through too much and you have not been able to heal, it's okay for you to go see a therapist. A lot of people, depending on the cultures, especially men, men have this thing where they feel like, oh, that's that's I'm not going to do that and go see a therapist. Mental men's mental health is very important. I'm telling you that. Go see a therapist if you need to go see one. Schedule schedule a consultation with someone. Make sure you find the right one. Look over the person reviews. See what they're about. See how, you know, if you can connect with them. If you can't connect with them after a couple of sessions, maybe it's not meant for you to, uh, to that person to be your therapist. Maybe it's meant for you to find someone else but you have to get help if you don't get help how can you become your greatest self if you don't allow people to help you how can you become your greatest self some of you have been doing everything by yourself and I'm talking you have no friends no family nobody around you could be a single father you could be a single mother um you could be a grandmother who your daughter uh, is on drugs or something happened, a bad accident in a car wreck, she, uh, or your son or somebody, they, they, it could, you know, um, please, please forgive me. I hate saying this, but they got raped or killed or something tragic happened. It could have been, they died from cancer and now you're taking care of a, a, a child who has special needs or a child who um or more than one child you're taking care of your brother's kids or something like that you have no kids and this is a struggle for you or because you have you've never raised kids before and your whole life is like turning you upside down but also at the same time whatever the situation is it could be taking you back to your childhood of you forgot who you once were. You forgot who you once were and 
that person that you truly desire to be as a child. And now the, the world has basically destroyed you as you got older. And these children or the situation is waking you up. Heal your shadow side. Put the work in. Stop doubting yourself. Believe. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Again, that card just said conclusions are in reach. What does that mean? That means what you desire and the outcome that you seek is closer than what you actually believe and know it to be. You are not for everyone. You are a child of the cosmos. The creator of the universe has already given you everything that you need. It's like baking a cake or baking a pie. You already have all the ingredients right in front of you. That's what the universe has done. The universe has already gave you all the ingredients you need. You just have to sit back here and put in the work if you're not putting in the work and get started. And you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. The reason why nothing is set in stone for some of you is because you're so afraid and scared. For others, the reason why nothing is set in stone is because, guess what? You have the ability to change the outcome that you were in. You could be homeless right now. You could be homeless right now or could have been homeless. And once upon a time, you had the mindset, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. But you know what? You did something that others thought that was impossible. You went and got a job. Next thing you know, you went from sleeping in your car or something like that to getting apartment or getting on housing whatever it took don't never let anybody judge you and don't care about what people think or say a lot of times way too often we as humans we care about what people think and what they say and we should not care about what people think and what they say we should not uh I tell my children all the time, and they're still very young, don't ever pay attention to someone else and what they have or because it's taking you longer to learn something than someone else. Don't let that discourage you. You will be fine. And I tell them, hey, I love you. I tell my wife the same thing. I tell my wife all the time. What you are doing is truly remarkable and extraordinary. And I tell her all the time, I am proud of you. And I love you. Because what she is doing, it is truly remarkable and extraordinary. Let it flow. Creativity, great ideas, inspirations. You might be, again, trying to create a situation or the situation that is currently that you are dealing with. 
it is very hard or you are having a hard time trying to figure out the ideas to take the next step. Sometimes you just have to let things flow. Sometimes you have to talk to your spiritual guides, sit down, talk to the creator of the universe. Ask your spiritual guides to intervene. Ask your spiritual guides for help. It is okay. It's okay. You might need to drop down to your knees and be like, look, spiritual guides, I need help. It's up to you. Take a risk. Speak the truth. Reflect on what you want. Reflect on what you want. Speak your truth. Always be truthful to yourself. Do not doubt yourself. You are enough. You can create what you desire and what you want. This could be a YouTube channel. This could be you speaking about what you went through as a child. This could be about your journey. This could be you wanting to open up a business. This could be you wanting to be a reporter, a broadcaster, a writer, writing a book, uh, writing a column in the newspaper. You can do this. I don't care how many people told you you cannot do this. Speak your truth and know that you got this. You can do this. Let's get one more card. Go for it. You already know what you want. You already know what you want. Your mind is already made up. If it's not made up, it's time to make it up. Because again, child of the cosmos, you are a child of the universe. The creator has already given you the intelligence of the universe and it lies within you. Believe that. I want you to start listening to affirmations. I want you to start, if you don't listen to affirmations, I want you to find affirmations and listen to them. Um, you might need to change the music that you're listening to. It, it might be things that you're watching on TV. These things can affect us. It might be people around you that you feel like, why don't I feel connected to them? Something's not right. Probably because you're growing and they want to stay in the same place and that, and, and that is not who you are anymore. Something is telling me to get one more card. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to end this reading, but I, I have to keep going. Let go. Not every puzzle is yours to solve. Let go of your past. But know at the same time that everything that you have been through, it was a lesson learned and you have survived the unsurvivable and it has brought you to the place that you are. And if you wouldn't have went through those things that you went through, you wouldn't be the individual that you are today. This journey that you are on right now, stop thinking and looking at it in the negative aspect. Look at it as a gift. If once you start looking at what you have and saying what I have is enough, if you don't have the things that you want and you don't have the things that you truly desire, They will come. You might 
have a whole cluttered house or a lot of things that you've been holding on. Let go of those things. Let go. Let go of it. So new things can flow and come into your reality. But you have to understand that it's up to you to speak your truth, reflect on what you want, and it is up to you to go for it and to do the unthinkable. To whoever's listened to this, I want you to understand and I want you to tell yourself, I got this and I can do this. I know that it's been a struggle and I know it's been hard. I know it has not always been easy. You might be living paycheck to paycheck. And you might think like, how can I do this? If you have to take a second job, take it. If you have to Uber, if you do whatever you have to do to get where you, as long as you're not doing anything bad, make sure you're never doing anything bad or anything that is negative or going to put yourself in harm's way. But know that you got this. Know that the outcome is going to be remarkable but tell yourself I am enough I am no longer going to not take care of myself I am no longer not going to where is it at where's the card at I am no longer not going to water my garden I'm going to learn to take care of my temple. I'm going to heal myself. 2024 is going to be a better year. But the thing that a lot of people don't understand is you don't have to wait until don't wait until 2024 to start doing these things. Start today. Start now. The time is now. Not later. Right now. Today. It doesn't matter what you don't have. You might not have everything that you need, but get started. Start today. Do not wait. Don't sit there and get inside your head and be like, oh, I don't have this. I can't do this. No, start. You need to do it. Because I guarantee you, if you start right now, in November of 2023, I guarantee you, some of you are going to see growth by February of 2024. Some of you might see that growth by July of 2024. Some of you might see that growth in a couple weeks. Because you've already been putting in the work. Some of you might be getting ready to give up. And feel like. I, I can't. I can't do this. Yes you can. You can do this. You've done it this long. Trust me. You can do this. You got this. You are a conqueror in your own right. That kingdom. That you want. You already have it. You have to start visualizing it and start seeing it. Peace and prosperity to all.